Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? What are some advantages and disadvantages? One disadvantage is um, that when all the when all the when all the energy is released at the same time, it might cause um, a nuclear reaction. It might make a nuclear explosion. What's good about it then? Um, that you only need one little power plant to make like a lot of electricity to power homes. It, what's the cost advantage? Does it cost a lot to use um, it? 60, it costs five, $65 million. To build a plant? Mm -hmm. um, where in the U.S. or the world is this being used? Um, it's being used in Russia and <coughs> Thank you so much. Good job. What are some of the advantages? Um, the advantage, the advantage, is, advantage is that they help us use the, they help us generate the light, and they light up almost 2.19 solar panels and 1.30, 1. 1. 139.49. Um, and kettle, kettle boiled, and 28,000 solar panels, 16,000, 16,000, 16,000, I can't do it, I don't know, it's hard to present the, the okay. 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 My dad was about energy. Go ahead and talk. Parts of it. And what's this? Show it. <laughs> so 
how did you make it? What I mean to say is, how does it work? Take it outside and it'll reflect onto the thing. You, it, you hold it open like that? It, no. Do you hold it open? Both ends of stick. Okay. And then what happens? And it'll, the black paper will absorb the light. Mm -hmm. And then what can you cook in something like that? Really? What else? Okay. Um, what are some advantages and disadvantages of solar energy? What's the good thing about solar? And where can we find um, solar energy being used? <coughs> All right, thank you, Kevin. Three, two, one.
is that it costs it costs a lot of money and um some and you need like a lot of Russian water in order to make it move or else you're gonna have to do like another alternative energy to power up your city or town. In the U.S., I do, I really don't know like where it's really popular in the U.S. Um, but it's most popular in China. I already said that. Well, I guess I'm. Okay, oh, no. excellent job. Thank you, Katie. Energy that I'm doing is solar. It's a lot of places that you can find solar energy, but the most places is in Houston because it's a lot of heat. And the advantage that you can get from solar energy that is free, it also it also travel long distance. What are the disadvantages? Disadvantages if if you have it on the rooftops and stuff, that it can if you have <coughs> homes and buildings, it can actually overpower it and if something can blow up and catch on fire. Okay. Um, what are the costs of them of using solar energy? The cost would be over. $6,000 million. I mean, not $6,000. I'm joking. $6 million. And where in the U.S. or world is this energy being successfully used on a regular basis? Houston. Where else? And. Do you know? <coughs> Thank you, Bryce. because like mostly biomass comes from wood and different types of like wood chips and since the advent of fire thousands of years ago we've been using wood to keep us warm cook food and more recently produce electricity next slide please so the advantage of biomass is 
well, that is renewable when it is picked. It, I think it releases some type of like gas into the air, and it produces new plants. So, yeah, it's renewable. A uh, disadvantage of it is, first off, it's, expen it's expensive. If like something goes wrong in the when they pick out the like they cut down the trees and all that for the <coughs> biomass and stuff, it and if something goes wrong during that procedure, it is very expensive and probably sometimes nobody has that moolah to pay off for that and it harms the world. Oh, that's what y'all, you should have told me. You want to talk about that? Yeah, uh, Biomass energy, for the most part, creates no harmful carbon dioxide emissions. <coughs> well, you know how, like, people use fossil fuels and their garbage gets thrown away into landfills and, like, open spaces and open, like, land, landfills, I think I already said that. It... It makes like a lot of like harm to the earth. So biomass reuses. It's just like recycling. It reuses that garbage and it can create a new specific sort of biomass. Biomass energy can heat your home, create electricity. Yes. Lost when using biomass. The lost energy and mass can be used to fuel the torrefaction process. What's that? Well, the torrefaction process, I don't really know much about. I haven't really studied more into that torrefaction process, but all I know is this. Okay. Fair enough. And it's not